Time now to meet Marilyn May, the singer and one-time Grammy nominee from another era who's enjoying a well-deserved comeback. Mo Rocca makes the introduction. You're gonna love me like nobody's loved me. Come rain or oh, come shine. Happy together, unhappy together, and won't it be just fine? If this is the first you're hearing about singer Marilyn May, well, it's about time. Skies are gonna clear up, put on a happy face. For over seven decades, she's crisscrossed the country, playing hundreds of clubs, cabarets, and joints. What a world! What a life! I'm in love. At last year's star studded jazz at Lincoln Center Gala in New York, it was May who owned the room. There was a real sense that when you came on and performed that they responded thinking, this is the real thing. Oh, thank you. Oh, my, don't cut that out of the interview. <laughs> I woke up singing this morning, got out on the right side of bed. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> For May, the secret to connecting with an audience comes down to a simple preposition, singing to them, not for them. Ain't misbehaving, saving my love for you. Everybody's your friend. Everybody there, they want to love you. A lesson she imparts to her students between gigs. We don't talk like this. We talk like this. We talk to each other. So it's very important to communicate. You're not shy about making eye contact. Oh, no, that's, that's the whole purpose, is to tell you the story of the song. It's a most unusual sky. I feel Her story began in Kansas. Who got you into singing? My mother. My mother when I was three years old. And did your mother have to push you? Uh, she wasn't a stage mother. If she had been, I probably would have been a star. <laughs> but no, I wanted to sing. She was singing in a club in Kansas City when she was discovered the first time. Make someone happy. By talk show host Steve Make Allen. Then RCA gave her a record deal. I know you was in 1966, years before Liza Minnelli recorded it, May had a hit with the song Cabaret. Life is a cabaret, old chum. The year before, she was nominated for the Grammy for Best New Artist. She was 37. And who are you against? Oh, um, gosh, I forgot. Sonny. Oh, I can tell you. <laughs> Sonny and Cher? Uh, and who else? Herman's Hermits. Herman's Hermits, yes. The Birds. Uh-huh. And Tom Jones. And Tom Jones. What a category. <laughs> Is that nuts? Right. <laughs> Tom Jones took home the trophy. While there's no question May's always had rhythm, her timing hasn't been so lucky. I was too late. I wish I'd been recording in the 40s, because that was all my era. The music world was moving in a different direction, and things at home weren't exactly looking up. I don't iron his shirts. I don't sew on his buttons. I don't know all the jokes he tells. Three marriages, all, mm -hmm. all alcoholics. But couldn't I fix them? Of course I could. <laughs> In your stage show, you don't talk a lot about your personal life. Mm -mm. I think they come to hear the music. He may not be here when the morning comes. I don't. I don't think they need to hear your troubles. They've got their own. You know. I don't. I don't. Um, I just think what we have to tell them is in a lyric. A lot of people would say that's old school. Mm -hmm. It is. It is old school. I see nothing wrong with that. Hey, look at us now. We've got the winners and how Lincoln Mercury leads the way. 
some gigs along the road paid better than others. How important was the song you sang for Lincoln Mercury? That was the paycheck. And they used it for four years and gave me a new car every year. That was nice. Then I'd have to turn it back in. Lincoln Mercury And she always had the respect of her peers. Ella Fitzgerald called her the great white girl singer. Marilyn May first appeared on The Tonight Show in 1968. This is her 59th appearance. I think that's a record for a singer. She, uh, she gets better and better. And, and Johnny Carson was a big fan. You welcome, please. Marilyn May. How many times did you do The Tonight Show? 76. But as clubs started closing, May struggled to make ends meet. During certain stretches, did you think, oh boy, if things had worked out differently, I'd be a bigger star? Yeah, but I was too busy answering the phone trying to get the gig. Then, after a 2006 gig at New York's Metropolitan Room, she was discovered all over again. I was 78 years old. I mean... <laughs> I was 78. <laughs> You're 78 when you make your big comeback in New York. <laughs> I know. That's crazy. Crazy. But I was working. It's the sheer love of singing that keeps her working in venues big and not so big. If you live life, do it again. <laughs> Every summer for more than six decades, she performed at this inn at Iowa's Lake Okaboja. How fabulous. 61 years. Wow. 61 <laughs> years in a row. I know. Four generations. There is a Mo here. May I introduce Iowa to this precious man? His name is Mo Rocca, ladies and gentlemen. This past summer, she even let me sing along. And if someday Everything turns out wrong. We're through with the human race. Come running to me. Yeah. As she approaches a very big birthday, let's just say it begins with a nine. Still raising hill gang in our special way. Marilyn May may finally be peaking. <laughs> 